Was I able, or did I watch it at the premiere? Were you able to, yeah, watch? I actually snuck screens. out at the back. Ah. Uh, it was very large. Yes. It was such a big screen. Um, but I have seen it uh, more than once, so yeah. Seeing it with an audience is really incredible really? because people react to that scene. First of all, they react to seeing the character of Frank Return. again. Mm. Was there a, really, was there a sort of noticeable there's, response there's to that? There is an applause. Ah. And I, I think oh, yeah. because he's a character that we really feel safe with. And that opening scene in the new season between Frank and Claire, it really is, I think, a callback to the pilot, you know, the scene mm, by the fire between the right. two of them. And I'd love to know, in your approach, what is the biggest difference between the Frank that you played in that very first episode mm. by the fire and now returning to form a very similarly blocked and formatted scene? Yeah. Um, that's a really interesting question. I think a lot has changed. I mean, both obviously narratively, a lot has happened. And so it feels like much richer ground that we're kind of uh, plowing. Um, the air is a lot thicker between the two characters, I think. Um, and also, I think just um, Kat and I, as actors, have sort of developed into our roles. And um, so that also feels richer. So I think all that kind of contributes to, um, yeah, contributes to returning and enriches uh, returning to that, that place and those, those people. And what really struck me as well is that it, at the time, there was this inherent belief in the supernatural. When, when bad things happened or things that couldn't be explained, people would, I think, assume that it was the work of some kind of mythical force. force. Right. Yeah. yeah, you know, Claire is deemed the woman taken by the fairies, mm -hmm. by the press. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a predominant belief, but Frank is someone who has a rational academic brain. So how do you think it plays in, you know, that background of his plays in when he has to kind of accept, perhaps, or try to accept that there are supernatural elements mm. to the world? I mean, I'm not entirely convinced to what level he accepts mm -hmm. the proposition that he's faced with. I think he chooses to accept it mm -hmm. because um, that's, he, he wants to move forward with her and to heal these things. But I'm sh uh, I don't know that it might be that there's a part of him that puts it down to some kind of magical thinking or delusion or... Um, yeah, it's the most uh, esoteric ingredient in the story. And obviously you see Frank, that character, who is one of the more rational characters, coming right up against that element of the story. So that, uh, that again, is interesting um, and really fun to play because I think both Kat and I had to kind of root it in the kind of the psychology and the emotion of the situation to make that as real as possible. We also get to see Blackjack in a very new kind of environment and he's a much more subdued character this season I'm wondering for you, how was it different coming on and being much more reserved? Because he's such a larger than life character, mm. but I think you have to maybe hold back a bit. That's this right. Season. Yeah, I think that seems to be the main surprising note about um, Rand Jack Randall in this season is that we always see him in positions of, uh, of not being in control and not being able to control the outcome. Um, so that's a really different set of circumstances than we've ever seen him before. I also did want it to change it up a bit and, f and make him slightly less confident that, that the fallout, the physical fallout, and maybe the psychological fallout as well for him, he's not unaffected by Wentworth in his own way. And so we actually do see someone... I think in the first season he's a man who feels no, has no sense of his own mortality, whereas I think maybe now he does. Um, yeah. He's so out of place, whereas a lot of the characters really Yeah, fit in. and even later on, in, in, when we get to meet his brother and his brother is dying, that is a second circumstance which he cannot control. So again, mm -hmm. he's not able to do what he would normally do.